it will be interesting not only for those who are in love with this ancient country to get acquainted with interesting historical places in Ireland. The sites of Ireland are luxurious parks, ruins of ancient castles, museums, and modern buildings. All this captivates at first sight and does not allow you to leave the country without memorable photographs and wonderful impressions. If you came here for the first time and do not know what to see in Ireland, then especially for you I have compiled a list of the most interesting places in this country. First place, Dublin Castle. Most tourists begin to explore Ireland from the territory of the city of Dublin. The sites of Ireland in this city are numerous, and Dublin Castle is considered one of the most important. This amazing historical monument was founded in 1204. It has been perfectly preserved to this day and is still the main castle of Ireland. Today it houses the government complex of buildings. Here you can see the ancient walls built almost a thousand years ago. Despite the high government status, excursions are conducted around the territory of this architectural monument. Second place, Caer Castle. The sites of Ireland are hard to imagine without the beautiful and exquisite Caer Castle. It is located right in the center of the Shuey River, which flows through the territory of the city of Caer in South Tipperary. The uniqueness of this architectural monument lies in the fact that it is recognized as the most impregnable and best preserved castle in Ireland. It was built in the 12th century. Third place, Powers Court Estate. Located in County Wicklow, the famous Powers Court Estate is surrounded by a luxurious park where you can relax from the noise of the city and enjoy the coolness of the gardens. A lot of greenery, neat lawns and flower beds, ponds and fountains, bridges and statues located in the most unexpected places. All these are made of the city dweller with its splendor and peace. There is so much peace here. Fourth place, Macros House. Macros House Museum Estate is a mansion six kilometers from the city of Killarney, built in the middle of the 19th century according to the design of the Scottish architect Byrne. Now it is one of the most important sites of Ireland. The mansion is located on a peninsula formed by the lakes Loch Lane and Macros. Very close to the museum, there is a farm that reflects the life and daily work of the Irish villagers of the beginning of the last century. You can visit a cottage, a smithy, a carpentry workshop. Every year this farm hosts a festival for younger students. Fifth place, National Leprechaun Museum. The National Leprechaun Museum was specially created in Dublin in 2003 to commemorate the unique identity of this country. Now the size of Ireland without this museum is impossible to imagine. The entire exposition is dedicated to funny and friendly relatives of elves and fairies living in Ireland. Here, a leprechaun comes to each visitor 
bringing a pot of gold. The guide will tell you how the meetings of fairy tale creatures with people took place in different centuries. After the walk, each visitor will receive a portrait of his personal leprechaun. In souvenir shops, you can buy funny souvenirs in the form of cute fairy tale creatures in green customs. Sixth place, Banrati Castle. The ancient castle of Banrati was founded in the 13th century on the site of a former camp of Viking merchants. The stone castle was built by Edouard de Clare, but a few decades later both the castle and the city nearby were completely destroyed during the war. In the first half of the 15th century, Banrati Castle was rebuilt again and got its modern look. The castle houses one of the best collections of antique furniture in the country as well as luxurious tapestries. All exhibits depicting the life of the people of Banriti at that time are equipped with detailed descriptions. Seventh place, Killarney National Park. Travelers examining the numerous sites of Ireland unanimously recognize the Killarney National Park as the most beautiful place. Killarney National Park, on the shores of the lakes of the same name, was founded in 1932. Unique natural conditions are preserved here, as many as 10,000 hectares on which the park is located are occupied by moors, gardens and forests. Most of it is located in mountainous areas. On the territory of the park, a traveler can meet a red deer, a squirrel, a marten. Eagle owls, white fronted geese, peregrine falcons and falcons live here. All the inhabitants of the park live in natural conditions. Eighth place, Grafton Street. Grafton Street, which runs from Stevens Park to Trinity College, is one of Dublin's most fashionable and prestigious streets. Back in the Victorian era, this narrow pedestrian street was the center of Irish shopping, and today, each of the elegant establishments along Grafton Street is home to a prestigious boutique or restaurant, and street performers are everywhere. Walking along the street, you should pay attention to nearby attractions. Trinity College is one of the oldest operating universities in the world, founded in the 16th century, and has a huge library. Ninth place, Stevens Green Park. At the beginning of spring, the Irish island comes to life after hibernation. Ireland begins to turn green and bloom in spring, and the leaden clouds are replaced by the gentle sun. It's time to arm yourself with a camera and head to some park, for example, to Stevens Green. This is one of the most popular spring holiday destinations among locals, as well as a well-known attraction among city visitors. The park appeared on this side back in the Victorian era, and until now, 3.5 kilometers of walking alleys surrounded by well-groomed greenery give vacationers precious moments of peace and unity with nature.
10th place. Kalkini Castle Kalkini is an old and in its own way charming city that Eastern Isle is famous for. Here, each building keeps its own history, but the medieval castle of Kalkini is especially interesting. The must visited to reside in the city. It was founded in the 12th century and to this day is a fine example of Norman architecture. Today, an art exhibition with canvases by English and Irish artists is open inside the castle, and archaeological excavations are underway in the surrounding areas.